What's going on guys? Right now I'm about to show you how to use trainers with XMU. What you're going to need is the Rocky 5 soft modding tool extra disc. So I'll have a link for that in the description. And then I'm about to show you how to install the modded dashboard right now. Soft mod extra disc. This is my Xbox MISC. Soft modding tool extra disc. Alright. Let's reset. Alright, now it's working. Okay. Don't know what that was all about. And then you're going to go over here to install uh, applications and you're going to want to install either Evolution X, Unleash X, XBMC but I'll be showing you guys on Unleash X so you can install that either to your E which would be C is where your startup dashboard would be. So I have the stock dashboard. So I have mine installed onto the E drive or partition. Um, so I have both Evolution X, Only Shocks. All right. So after you do that, to install the trainer launcher, you would go to Applications. Xord Mini, and then you would install to any of the uh, application where your dashboard is on. All right, and then you would go over to back over to File Manager, launch up your dashboard after you have that installed. So we'll go over to Unleash X. Got the nice little startup thing. And then, as you can see, we have the dashboard. And then we are going to eject the disk, which is the soft modern extras disk. So the tray is open. And then what you would do is go over to Xbox Admin. Applications, XWord Trainer Launcher. Wait for this to boot up. Alright, and then once you get into this, you'll notice you won't be able to scroll with the D-pad or anything. So, all you gotta do for that is unplug your controller and plug it back in. But we're gonna load up a game. Let's load up Halo 2. Also, guys, don't use this on Xbox Live. Um, with Insignia, you'll get banned. Unless you uh, get like proper permission to go ahead and... Guys, uh, so I'm about to unplug my controller. Unless you get permission to like host a modded lobby where everyone's aware that you have uh, mods. I got a mess up controller, so I got to kind of tweak it a little bit. All right, there we go. All right, now I can click it. As you guys see, we got all the trainers. There's a lot of them. We got Developer's Edition, Halo 2. Camera Hacks. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna edit this out, but I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom over to the Yelo Trainer. And if anyone wants a tutorial on how to install that, I will upload one. Cause I know all the other ones on YouTube are the like, 13 years old plus and it's kind of hard to see what they're doing. Alright, 
here we are, we're at Yilo Halo 2. Uh, turn that on. Ch -ch -ch. Put infinite ammo, infinite grenades. I actually don't know what the rest of this stuff does. I'll have to test that. Uh, last time I loaded the multiplayer AI, it didn't work. But I wasn't sure because I had a couple other things up. But we'll just try this. And then it should launch Halo 2. Yep, here we are. And uh, once I get into a game, the it's going to be kind of laggy because my whatever it is with XMU and then the loading screens and stuff, it's all kind of laggy. But I'll just give you guys a quick little test. And wait for this to count down. And I gotta go over to the controls. All right, so it's going to be back plus D-pad down. All right, let's see. All right, yeah, there we go. Unlimited ammo. Unlimited grenades. And then with Yilo, you can go into third person. You go into dev cam perspective. I'm not sure what that does. All right, back plus D pad down would be third person. There we are. Now we got third person in Halo 2. Um, and then I think if you go back in the first person, it, it turns the vehicles in the first person, which can kind of be bothersome, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's kind of hard. Let's try that right now. First person would be back and then D-pad up. Oh. Yeah, and this would be first person for the vehicle. So yeah, it kind of breaks the third person when going in the vehicles, but... And then let's check out... I'm going to try to do some other stuff that... Hopefully doesn't crash the game. All right, let's see. Dev cam perspective. Back plus D-pad right. Oh, okay. Cool. All right, now how do we get out of that back plus D-pad right? Okay, now we're stuck into this. Okay. Chase, okay. Uh, okay. Back was deep it down. Goes back. Okay, cool. And then let's try to do the right thumb plus back. Okay, so this would be cinematic. Cool. Let's check out some other stuff we can do. Left thumbstick plus back. Nice. 
Let's go back to third person. B plus D pad plus left decreases the game speed. So let's try that. B plus D pad left. Not sure what that did. Um, sure what else you can do with this. A plus D pad, right? Supposed to enable AI, I'm not sure what that did. Left slim sick plus white. Not sure what that just did. Uh, okay. I'm not sure. Back D pad, right. And then this is the dev cam. Go under the map. Let's go back into third person. Let's dev. All right. So it kind of does break some of the textures, it looks like. This would probably be pretty cool playing um, on like modded maps or something. All right. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you got any questions. If anyone wants a tutorial for the Yilo trainer, let me know. I'll upload one. All right. Bye. Thanks for watching.